A fiery response from South Korea on Monday drills with jet fighters and ballistic missiles after North Korea's massive nuclear bomb test over the weekend. Military exercises with U.S. forces are also in the works. But as Reuters Soyeon Kim explains, it looks like it'll take more than just muscle flexing to rein in Kim Jong-un. They simulated a possible attack on North Korea's nuclear site, um, you know, from where a, um, a large earthquake and the, the explosion happened yesterday. Um, and it's usual for South Korea's military as well as um, the U.S. military um, in South Korea together to, to launch counter-military response for a show of force. Um, but then you know, those military drills haven't really had desired effect of deterring North Korea from uh, continued provocations. Away from military action, South Korean President Moon Jae-in continues to push for talks with the North as a way of resolving the crisis. But while that was a popular option at first, South Koreans are starting to lose patience. After having seen repeated missile launches, as well as the most powerful nuclear um, weapons test ever on Sunday, um, there are signs that this public opinion is turning against uh, Moon's pro-engagement policy. Meanwhile, North Korea Korea's other neighbors have agreed to, quote, appropriately deal with the test. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin meeting on the sidelines of a BRICS emerging economy summit to coordinate their response. North Korea claims it tested an advanced hydrogen bomb on Sunday, triggering a magnitude 6.3 earthquake, an explosion 10 times more powerful than its last test. The UN Security Council is set to meet later on Monday to discuss a fresh round of stricter economic sanctions.